Hello, and welcome to this review of Dead Island 2. The wait was long, but it was definitely worth it. Shambling its way back onto the scene, Dead Island 2 cements the franchise's place as one of the most fun beat-em-up zombie games in the genre. Choosing between six slayers whose personalities inject the humor and wit that's to be expected out of the Dead Island franchise, players can change up their combat style with each slayer, allowing for greater replayability. For the purposes of this review, the Irish doesn't give a hoot Danny was chosen to run around the lovingly nicknamed Hella with. Right from the start, Dead Island 2 shows the player exactly what to expect. It's nothing groundbreaking, and the story won't win any awards, but throughout the entire game there are no moments that feel laggy or stretched out. Above all else, Dead Island 2 delivers on its promise to be good, gory fun. No longer actually on an island, Dead Island 2 introduces a lot of the same concepts and story beats, groups of survivors who need help, an immune protagonist, and lots of zombies to deal with. But unlike the original, this plays in a smooth frame rate, with fleshed out combat and more dynamic side characters. Immediately the standouts, and the ones that receive the most context, are the endearingly peculiar Patton and the famous British actress Emma Jaunt, who offers refuge in her mansion, alongside many others. When the player first visits Emma's mansion, it's hard not to be taken aback by the view of the beautifully rendered Helle. It might not be Banway Island, but it's still stunning, with standout environments and set pieces across the game. La itself offers enough of a varied backdrop to keep things visually interesting during the journey from the hills of Bel Air down to the city's famous Venice Beach. Overall, the map areas feel much more contained than the original Dead Island, however, that's not to its detriment, as it feels clean and tight, with no unnecessary padding beyond good old-fashioned zombie takedown challenges. This leads to the place Dead Island 2 really shines, its combat, introducing Dambuter's new procedural flesh system that allows skin and organs to be literally ripped away. Means the player can now plan and see the effects of specific hit points on a zombie, and also watch the different impacts and effects of each attack in full gory detail. Aiming for a zombie's jaw will result in a horror-esque jaw dislocation as they still stretch futilely towards the player to bite. Taking off their legs or cracking their ribs will be shown in explicit detail, and adding environmental damage can cause skin to literally melt away. Where enemies are hit really matters, and weapon effects vary from zombie to zombie. The vast number of options means the player has to think strategically and use interactable objects and their environmental effects tactically to press their full advantage. There are so many different variables and chances to become overwhelmed that simply running in and hacking and slashing just won't cut it this time round. Additionally, Dead Island 2 features a unique crafting system that allows players to create weapons and items using materials they find throughout the game world. This adds a level of strategy to combat encounters, as players must balance the risk of engaging in combat with the potential rewards of gathering valuable resources. The game also boasts a vast open-world environment that encourages exploration and discovery. Players can venture out into the game's fictionalized version of California, encountering all sorts of dangers and challenges along the way. Overall, Dead Island 2 offers a unique and engaging take on the zombie genre, blending elements of action, RPG, and survival gameplay to create a thrilling and immersive experience. With its strategic card system, crafting mechanics, and expansive open world, the game promises hours of intense and rewarding gameplay for fans of the genre.